Hi guys, today is Monday, April 28th, and it's my mom's birthday. I think she's, I don't know, 197 or something like that. Yeah, maybe. I think she's 197 last <laughs> I just finished work and we're on our way to the FedEx, what's it called, depot? So what I think is happening is these guys just don't want to finish delivering. Because I was home all day on Friday. I checked the tracking number in the morning, it says it was en route. And then I checked it after 5 and it says that incorrect address and I checked the address and the address is perfect I think and the mail guy does it too well he used to do it until I called him on it yeah the mail guy would basically just not deliver our stuff you know what maybe it's just our building because we seem I don't hear anybody else complaining about this maybe they just don't like coming to our building are we in like a weird spot or maybe it's just us anyways it's actually a present I bought a birthday present online for the boy and it never came in time it's bastard it's frig I don't know, if that's not FedEx's fault, that's your fault. That is not, what do you mean it's my fault? It's my, your fault because now my di my birthday's gone, it's over, and you're making me go pick it up. I'm not making you do that's anything. That's brutal. How am I making you pick it, it up? It should be here already. You want to get out right now, I'll go pick it up myself? Anyways, so that's where we're going. And then after that, we're going to my mom's house. It got oh, sidetracked. Wow. I haven't actually bought her anything yet, so I'm gonna pick up something for her on the way there. Mm. Look at the dollar store. She wants a yellow blouse. So, let's see if I can find one for her at Fashion Max, and then I'm just gonna put some money in a card for her as well. Yeah. Oh, you guys, we got a new GPS. Look at it. Da -na -na, na -na -na. I don't know why I do that noise for everything. The road has split. Yeah, so we got a new GPS. Our old one, um, the problem that I didn't like with the old one is you had to put the city in first before the address. But if you're going somewhere, like let's say we're taking a road trip and you don't know what the city or town is called, you just want to put an address um, the reverse way. Yeah. This one does that, whereas, whereas our old one did not. It, yeah, to explain it properly would be we've lived in, well, I've lived in Toronto pretty much my whole life. And it would, I couldn't enter in because I didn't know if it was it was like a sub city, sub town, sub something. Yeah. I don't know if it was called Willowdale or Concord or it's just Toronto. It's, it's Toronto. Exactly. Okay, we finished up at FedEx and right now, why does that store look pitch black? <laughs> oh my god. So I wanted to get my mom a yellow top and her store that she really likes called Fashion Max was closed. I don't know why it was closed so early. It was only, what time did we get there? Quarter to eight? Yeah, before eight o'clock. Yeah, it's crazy. So anyways. I think it's, maybe they're not open on Mondays. That's it seems stupid. like that's a trend. Anyways, I didn't get her anything. So yay me, horrible daughter. I did get her like a little gift bag of Nick snacks and then I just basically got her money and a card. But we're on our way to her house to take her to the movies. My mom is against going to the movie theater. She thinks it's, Unchristian like, but she will go if it's like a religious movie. So the last Christian, they go to the movies. Yeah. Wow. So the last time she went to the movies was to see Passion of Christ, <laughs> and today we're going to see Noah. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Why would it be unchristian? Um, because it's not focused on God. So, so you she ever been grocery shopping? I'm not. I'm not arguing the point with you. I'm just oh, telling them. I'll argue with her. You can film it then. When you go to the movies, if you think about movies today, you're going to watch violence, sex, swearing, nothing that's godly like. So, as a Christian woman, she doesn't feel that she has any place there. If it is a religious movie, she will go see it. But obviously, you guys know it's very rare for a religious movie to come out. So, um, yeah, that's why she hasn't been in years. When, when did Passion of Christ come out? I don't even know. Two thousand. Yeah, two thousand. I don't even know. But, yeah. Never seen it? No, I've never seen it. I don't have a desire to see it. Hell no. Whose birthday is it? Is it yours? So what year were you born? 191875. Right. <laughs> there it is. Ooh. There it is. Happy birthday, mom. Very nice. Who got that for you, Christine? Yeah. That's nice. What flavor is it? Let's get some candles. We have candles? No, I don't want no candles. Why? Because we don't we don't have candles. So what are you gonna blow out? 
Nothing. Just cut? Yeah, just cut. Cut and sing? Just cut and sing. Sing and cut. Well, I need the help here. Singing. Where's your candles? We don't she have any. Candles. Don't have any or don't have any here? We don't have any. We don't need any. We Show them a close-up. It's pretty. I did already. You do that already and, it, and, I, and it took it like this already. Yeah, don't, don't drop and it or else it'll become a fail. It's only 172. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So youthful. <laughs> Okay, and it's time to It's a vampire. You. Wait, let's sing first. Don't cut it first. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to your mom. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Yay! 99. 172. 172. <laughs>